Hi, welcome or welcome back. I am Joanna and I have showed you two places in my craft room and that was my crafting desk and my crafting table which are now a mess and uh, I'm going to try to avoid those filming today but I'm going to show you some things I got going on over here and my major craft storage that I got going on behind me and beside me. You don't want to miss this. Okay, so starting along this wall from my craft desk, okay, there's my vacuum. That tells I, I vacuum my room. I do clean once in a while. Um, <laughs> there is my X tool on a five foot table. It fits perfect. I have an old nappy cutting mat I can't stand underneath of it. And I have two long tiles, floor tiles, from lows underneath of it and they have a grid drawn on it i'd have to go into that specifically later but this is my x tool enclosure and my x tool is in there as you can see okay so that's my x tool and i have it on a five foot table because that hose right there um is my exhaust I have a power cord because there's limited um, plugs in here, wall outlets. So I have cords plugged in um, power strips, but you have to make sure that you have uh, very powerful power strips before you plug equipment like these into them, okay? So check that before you do anything like that. And then when you're... <clears throat> overlook this heart thing when you're trying to put your x tool up <clears throat> excuse me allergy season i had to build a ramp to put my fan that's a fan exhaust fan to blow out and then this is my makeshift i told y'all in one video i am a rigger and honey i can do it this is a portable uh dryer window thing and i have got that thing in there and it is in there like nobody's business and then this closes it off so no bugs get in here or the air comes back in because this stays open and it's locked. I have clips up the top to lock it. Hold on, I will show you. There are my clips that I bought. They You hold your window down and then you screw those tight to it so that nobody can open my window. And I have a cut pool noodle in there to stop the air from coming back up there. I told y'all, where there is a will, there is a way. So on this table, I have my little heart saw that my husband bought me. And it is a miter saw. I was cutting miters, so it's sitting sideways. But um, I'm going to have to figure out something else for dust because that does not work. It's It's got dust everywhere in here. But that's why I don't have sewing and crafting at the same time anymore. And then under this table, okay... I have scrap wood pieces that I cut with my X tool and then I have X tool tools and equipment in there and then in that one the black one I have twine I have rope I have um, I think it I think wire sorry I touched something on the table I had a crash I'm telling y'all life is a struggle in this craft room but anyways that's all my ropes and twines and things like that and then I have extra supplies down here. Um, those are where I go and do craft things with the church ladies. I have extra glue guns and uh, all kinds of stuff down there to use for them. This is my paint storage. And I've had many paint storage systems, but this is by far my favorite so far. And it is CD or Media Towers. I bought them a long time ago. And I took shelves out and arranged them the way I wanted them. But it holds all my paints and my stains, my polycrylic. And then up at the top, I have... I use fingernail polishes to paint sometimes. Depends on what I'm doing. And then I have acrylics up there. And then foam brushes and extra brushes up there. So I have to go shopping before I do anything because I may just have it and not have to buy it. I had to bring these plastic shelving units in here 
This one is extra large. Um, I actually, I'm pretty sure I got it at an auction uh, a few years ago, but this one's extra large and it's really wide this way. So I could put my baskets and stuff up there. But at the top, let me zoom in over there. You're on a tripod now, I shake too much. Let me put you down. Let me move you up. Okay, at the top I have bins and this is my um, styrofoam and floral foam, extra floral scraps. And then I have hodgepodge stuff up there, but there, you notice, I'll, you'll notice I have a lot of clear containers because I can see. And then that's my moss up there, you see. So anything bagged sits up there and it's, it's quite nice. And then on this drawer, or this shelf, I have my, these are, this is just a plastic um, storage for food. And I use whatever I can use. I've had it for years, but I have all kinds of wood pieces in there that are, you know, like just random cuts and slats that I buy and things like that. That's all up in that, that bin right there. Then I have two rolling pins. This is stuff that I, I need to get down in DIY. I had it last year and I just kept it in that box. These are my crates. These are other crates. My Jenga blocks are up here. These are um, pallets back there and then that box. And then these are just Dollar Tree things there. And then I got stuff hanging on hooks because there's holes in the tops of these. I'm not sure what you see, but there's holes in the tops of that. So I got that hanging there. Now on this second one, or if you could say the third one, whatever, I have clear plastic storage from Dollar Tree. These come out at school time and then these are in the kitchen. And this is just all my little wood cuts. And then in these, I don't have them labeled yet, but I can see what's in there. That's my knobs and things like that. My beads, I have, um, you can use any of their school boxes for storage on small parts these are actually trays from the dollar tree i actually had to get them at family dollar though because the dollar tree has the short ones i could only find the tall ones at the family dollar these are just my shims i stuck up there but anytime you can get clear plastic storage whether it's for um food or you know in the dishes area or whatnot they're really really nice to use for storage and i labeled them my dowels my circles my die cuts my stars hearts and odds and ends and then over here i got my scrap cuts sorry this is in my in my way i just bought these and need to put them away craft sticks tumbling towers and doll parts and then look at these ain't these cute they're pole bells but you know they look like cowbells to me ha 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 so anyway I got those and then I have storage on the side of this that's got a few odds and ends back there down here I have this storage tote that I lost the lid to um, like it would go on it anyway you know what I'm saying it wouldn't so is what it, it is what it is but I got all kinds of frames from Dollar Tree and things like that in there and then I have this bin which has some wood pieces in it uh the cutouts and and things like that like there's like coffee things in there there's roosters in there there's all kinds of stuff in there and then down here i have a lot of dollar tree cutouts and that um uh laundry basket and then i have more frames and things like that over there so these totes can hold or these storage towers can hold a lot of stuff you can hang stuff from them they're just they're awesome and then over here i have more storage units i bought these at walmart they're quite large and this is where i store uh you know random stuff on these so as you can see, these white storage units from Walmart can hold quite a bit of stuff, okay? 
So let me break it down. So at the top I have shoe boxes, a lot of shoe boxes that hold my puffy paint, my balls, I mean pom poms, whatever. Them ones are snowballs, that's why I said balls. But anyway, glitter and things like that. And then there's room over there and I got some stuff I need to use over there in the craft room. And then y'all look at these. I just got these from Dollar Tree. They're like, they're catching on to us crafters. They are, they're just, I almost said clear. You can't see through that. But they're plain wood dice for you to decorate yourself. Isn't that wonderful? You know them things as a booger to paint. And then look at these I just found. Oh my goodness, they have them out from Mother's Day. I love them. I got these two colors. I got to do something with them. But then this one, I just stick everything that I need to DIY with. There's Dollar Tree stuff in there. There's just all kinds of things. In case y'all haven't noticed, I shop more than I craft. I have a problem. There's all my glasswares. And that came from Walmart. That shelf in the, um, in the, I never say the. It come in the, uh, let me just talk like me for a minute. It come in the kitchen stuff. And it's a shelf to go in your pantry, I do believe. Uh, but anyway, my glass is all on that. Anything I've got from Dollar Tree and stuff like that. And then down there, I have succulents and buckets and, you know, whatnot. And then we'll just start down here on this bottom shelf. Another clothes basket full of my metals. And then these are totes that I got at Walmart they're little cases okay and that's all my scrapbook paper and that's how I sort my scrapbook paper this one is winter I don't have them labeled because I know that one's roses and shabby chic and then these I didn't have room for just a few scrapbook papers so this is farmhouse and these are envelopes that I bought at Hobby Lobby recently so I've got two of them there's calendar pages and then, you know, you can just pull these out. There is my fall. And then other ones. These are full of stickers. This is just a bin that I got from somewhere. Full of stickers. This is scrap um, rub-on transfers. Let me open this. Let me try to open this. Watch it flop. So I have these in baseball cards. Baseball card slots. And I've got them all separated. Once you cut them, if you don't watch the Dollar Tree ones, they'll fall apart on you. So when you put them in here, you know what you got. And they're not falling apart. So I got those in a binder. Sorry, I'm moving quite a lot. And then this is my stencils. I just got them in clear protective sheets in my binder so when I want a stencil I pull it out and then this is an oven rack and this is cookie rack cooling rack the cooling racks I think but anywho I got specialty papers under there I got pop dot stickers you know I just use these are Dollar Tree trays they slide right in these are Dollar Tree baskets they sl they just sit right on top because these are all Dollar Tree snap things. Well, this one isn't. These two aren't. They're from Walmart. But these, and I have all of my little flowers sorted out in there. And I have several of them. Beads. And that's all my napkins. I have another one of those because when you can put those in your shelves to have extra, you know, room, it sections it off. So you can actually double up on your space when you buy these things. And I don't know if you noticed, but I got one of the Dollar Tree ones right there. And if you buy enough of those, and if you have things to slide under them, those are nice too. But uh, this right here is very, very sturdy. I forgot what I paid for it. And then up there, I have Sterilite bins from Walmart that have my stamps and my clay stuff. And that is my organization for my craft supplies. And then I'll just go along this wall. Since we're on this wall, you can see what's in there. That's all my ribbon. I downsized a lot of ribbon. 
So I categorized it in there and what didn't fit is just nonchalantly laying up here. This is all my burlap ribbons and lace and then my metal ribbon. And I need to do something with this shelf, but it sits right there just for right now because, you know, it is what it is. I have a piece of stiff felt sitting there and I need it for something in my sewing room. I just haven't took it in there yet. And then I got ribbon sitting up there. And then up here, I have bags for when I uh, bag my stuff up to give it to people. This is a Dollar Tree um what the world this it's this thing a dollar tree paper towel holder okay and what i done whew, what i done was i bent it up i bent the the thing upward and if you don't bend it up the weight of these will slide down so it's bent up pretty far and that's where i store all my wreath forms and things like that or most of my wreath forms that's my craft room storage. I hope I helped you out somehow and gave you some tips on things that you can use for storage. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. Until next time, remember that you are a blessing. I appreciate you being here. Goodbye.